वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वील नो अबाउट द फेमस शॉर्ट स्टोरी द मैजिक शॉप रिटन बाय एच जी वेल्स ही इज़ नोन एज द फादर ऑफ साइंस फिक्शन सो लेट एस नो अबाउट एच जी वेल्स एच जी वेल्स वॉज बोर्न ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेप्टेम्बर एटीन सिक्सटी सिक्स एंड डाइड ऑन थर्टीन ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स ही वॉज एन इंग्लिश राइटर प्रोलिफिक इन मैनी जॉनर्स ही रोड डजेंस ऑफ नॉवल्स शॉर्ट स्टोरीज एंड वर्कस ऑफ सोशल कमेंट्री हिस्ट्री सटायर बायोग्राफी एंड ऑटोबायोग्राफी हिज वर्क ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड टू बुक्स ऑन री क्रिएशनल वॉर जेम्स वॉर गेम्स वेल्स इज नाउ बेस्ट रिमेंबर्ड फॉर इज साइंस फिक्शनल नॉवल्स एंड इज ऑफन कॉल्ड द फादर ऑफ साइंस फिक्शन अलॉन्ग विद जूल्स वर्न एंड द पब्लिशर ह्यूगो जेम्स बैक सो समरी ऑफ द मैजिकल शॉप द मैजिक शॉप वॉज रिटन बाई एच जी वेल्स एंड इट वॉज फर्स्ट पब्लिश इन द ईयर नाइनटीन हंड्रेड थ्री इट इज़ अ वंडरफुल स्टोरी अबाउट अ फादर एंड सन हु वन डे वाइल वॉकिंग डाउन द रोड कम केम अक्रॉस द मैजिक शॉप द फादर हैड सीन द शॉप सेवरल टाइम्स बट टू फॉर सर्टन रीजन्स अन नोन ही नेवर विजिटेड इट दिस टाइम इज सन जिप पुल्ड हिज फादर बाय हिज फिंगर एंड इंसिस्टेड ऑन गोइंग इन Little did know what adventurous journey awaited them. They saw a lot of beautiful craft works like the magic balls, the magic hens, and paper mesh tiger, and so on. Jip was delighted upon being in the magic shop and explained his father how he was read all about the magic cone which makes anything under it disappear. Suddenly, from behind the counter appeared a strange-looking man, a man with one ear bigger than other and weird-looking boot. The man, the father's son Dio, was astonished on seeing the shopkeeper, who then went on to show Jip a lot of magic tricks. The shopkeeper made a comment that Jip was the right sort of person to enter the shop. At the exact same moment, when another young boy outside the door wanted to enter, but the door was locked. The shopkeeper also gifted. Jip with a lot of items, including numerous toy soldiers in the box, which had Jip's full name and address written upon it. The father was puzzled upon this. The shopkeeper and Jip complimented each other and enjoyed each other's company. Jip stood up in a stool, and shopkeeper was beside him with a big drum in his hand. Jip screamed to his father, "Hide and seek, Dada, Dada!" And the shopkeeper put a drum over Jip's head. The father, the father was furious at his, and ordered the shopkeeper to remove the drum at once. When the shopkeeper removed the drum, Jip was missing. He was nowhere to be seen. The father had enough to, and try tried to grip the shopkeeper with his hand, but he escaped. Chasing him, led the father into place utter darkness. Suddenly, the father found himself bump into a decent-looking man, and with him was. Young Jip with four parcels in his arm. The father was astonished and looked around, but there was no magic shop anywhere to be found. So let us read this story in detail. This is the summary. I had seen the magic shop from after several times. I had passed it once or twice. A shop window or alluring it little objects, magical box, magic hands, and wonderful cones. Ventriloquist dolls and the material of the basket tricks, pa 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 packs of cards that looked all right, and all that sort of things. But never had I thought of going or in until one day, almost without warning, Jip hauled me by my finger right up to the window and so the conducted himself that there was nothing for it but to take him in. I had not thought the place was there. To tell the truth, a modest sized frontage in the regent regent street. Between the picture shop and the place where the chicken chicks run about, just out the patent incubators, but there it was sure enough. I had fancied it was down nearer the circus, or round the corner in Oxford Street, or even in Holborn, always over the way and a little in inaccessible. In it had been with something on the mirage in its position, but here it was now quite indisputably and the. fat and jips pointing finger made a noise upon the glass it was a, if if i was rich said gip jip dab dabbing a finger at the disappearing fog disappearing egg i would i had buy myself that and that which was the crying baby very human and that which was a mystery and called so a neat card asserted by one and astonish your friends anything said jip will disappear under one of those cones i have read about it in a book and there dada is a vanishing 
हाफ पेनी ओनली दे दे हैव पुट इट इन दिस वे अब सो वी हैव कॉन्ट वी सो सो एज वी कॉन्ट सी हाउ इट इज़ डन जिप डियर बॉय इनहेरिट्स इट्स मदर्स ब्रीडिंग एंड ही डिड नॉट प्रपोज टू एंटर द शॉप और वरी इन एनी वे ओनली यू नो क्वाइट अनकॉन्शियसली ही लग माई फिंगर डोर 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 वॉर्ड एंड ही मेड हिज इंटरेस्ट क्लियर दैट ही सेट एंड पॉइंटेड मी टू द मैजिक बॉटल इफ यू हैड दैट आई सेट एट विच प्रोमिसिंग इंक्वायरी ही लुकड अप विद सडन रेडियंस आई कुड शो इट टू जैसी ही सेट थॉटफुल एज एवर ऑफ अदर्स इट्स लेस दैन अ हंड्रेड डेज टू योर बर्थडे जिबुल्स आई सेड एंड लेड माई हैंड ऑन द डोर हैंडल जिप मेड नो आंसर बट हिज ग्रिप टाइट एंड ऑन माई फिंगर एंड सो वी केम इन टू द शॉप इट वॉज नो कॉमन शॉप दिस इट वॉज अ मैजिकल इट वॉज अ मैजिक शॉप एंड ऑल द प्रसिंग प्रेसिडेंट्स जिप वुड हैव टेकन इन द मैटर ऑफ मेयर टॉयज वॉज वॉन्टिंग ही लेफ्ट द वर्ल्ड बर्थन ऑफ द कन्वर्सेशन टू मी इट वॉज अ लिटल नैरो शॉप नॉट वेरी वेल लिट एंड द डोर बेल पिंग अगेंस्ट विद प्लेंटेटिव नोट एज वी क्लोज इट बिहाइंड एज फॉर अ मोमेंट और सो वी वर अलोन एंड कुड ग्लांस अबाउट अस ग्लांस अबाउट अस देर वॉज अ टाइगर इन अ पेपियर मैच ऑन द ग्लास केस दैट कवर द लो काउंटर अ ग्रेव काइंड आइड टाइगर दैट बैग्ड हिज हेड इन अ मैथोडिकल मैनर देर वर सेवरल क्रिस्टल स्पेयर्स अ चाइना हैंड होल्डिंग मैजिक कार्ड्स अ स्टॉक ऑफ मैजिक फिश बॉल्स इन वेरियस साइजेस एंड एन इमोडेस्ट मैजिक हैट दैट शेमलेसली डिस्पेड इन स्प्रिंग्स ऑन द फ्लोर वर मैजिक मिररर्स ऑन द ड्रॉ यू आउट लॉन्ग एंड देन थिन and thin one to swell your head and vanish your legs and one to make you short and fat like drought and while we were laughing at these the shopman as i suppose came in at any rate there was there he was behind the counter a curious sallow dark man with one ear larger than one other and a chin like the tote cap of a boot what can we have the pleasure he said spreading his long magical fing- magic fingers on the glass case and so with the sta- with a start we were aware about aware of him i want i said to buy my little boy a few simple tricks legged man he asked mechanical domestic anything amusing i said i mm, said the shopman and scratched his head for a moment as if i thinking then quite distinctly he drew from his head a glass ball something in this way he said and held it out the action was unexpected i had seen the trick one done in entertainment endless times before it's a part of common stock of conjurers but i had not ex- ex- expected it here that's good i said with a laugh isn't it said the shopman jip stretched out his dis engaged hand at to take his, this object and found merely a blank palm it is your pocket it is in your pocket said the shopman then there it was how much will that be i asked we make no charge for glass balls said the shopman politely we get them he picked one of his elbow as he spoke free free he produced another from the back of his neck and laid it beside the predecessor on the counter he regarded his glass ball sagely and then directed a look of inquiry at the two on the counter and finally brought his round eyed scrutiny to the shopman who smiled you may have those two said the shopman and if you don't mind one from my mouth so jeff considered me mutely for a moment and then in a profound silence put away the four balls resumed my reassuring finger and nervous and nerved be uh, nerved himself for the next event we get uh, all our smaller tricks in that way the shopman remarked i laughed in the manner of one who subscribes a to a jest instead of going to a wholesale shop i said of course it's cheaper in a way the shopman said though we pay in the end but not so heavily as people suppose our larger tricks and our daily pre- pre- provisions and all the other things we want we get out of that and you know sir if you ex- uh, you will excuse my saying it uh, there is not a wholesale shop not for genuine magic goods sir i don't know if you know, if you noticed our inscription the genuine magic shop he drew a business card from his cheek and handed it to me genuine he said with his finger on the word and added there is absolutely no deception sir he seemed to be carrying out the joke pretty thoroughly thoroughly i thought he turned to jip with a smile remar- remarkable affability you you know are the right sort of a boy i was surprised at his knowing that because in the interest of the discipline we keep it rather a secret even at home but jip received it 
in unflinching silence keeping a steadfast eye on the eye on him it's only the right sort of boy gets through that doorway and as if by way of illustration there came a rattling at the door and squeaking and squeaking little voice could be faintly heard nair i want a go in there dada i want i want a go in there nana and then the accents of down trodden parent urging consolation and pro proper propitiations it is locked edward he said but it it is not said i it is sir said the shopman always for the sh- or always for that sort of child as he spoke we had a glimpse of the other youngster a little white face parried from sweat eating sweat eating sweet eating and over over sapid food and distorted by evil passion a ruthless little egoist paying at the enchanted pain it's no good sir said the shopman as i moved with my natural help- helpfulness a door ward and presently the spoiled child was carried off howling how do you manage that i said breathing a little more freely magic said the shopman with a careless wave, wave of hand and behold sparks of colored fire flew from his finger and vanished into the shadow of the shop you were saying he said addressing himself to jip before you came in that you would like our a one of our buy one and astonish your friends boxes jip after a gallant effort yes it is in your pocket and leaning over the counter he really an extraordinarily long body this amazing person produced the article in the customary counter's manner paper he said and took a sheet of out empty hat with the springs strings and behold his mouth was a string box from which he drew an unending thread which with when he had tied his parcel the heap it off and he seemed to me swallowed the ball of string and then he he lit a candle at the nose nose of one of the ventriloquist dr- uh, dummies stuck one of his fingers which had become swelling sealing wax red into the flame and so sealed the parcel then there was disappearing egg he remarked i produced one from within my coat breast and packed it and also the crying baby very human i handed each parcel to jip as it was ready and he clasped them to his chest he said very little but his eyes were eloquent eloquent the clutch of his arms were eloquent he was the play crowned of uh, playground of unspeakable emotions these you know were real magics then with a start the i discovered something moving about my hair in my hat something soft and jumpy i i whipped it off and ruffled ruffled pigeon no doubt a con- confederate dropped out and ran on the counter and off and went i fancy into a cardboard box behind the paper mash tiger tut out tut tut said the shopman dexterously rece- relieving me of my headdress careless bird as i have ling live nesting it shook my hat and shook out into his extended hand two or three eggs a large marble a, a watch about half a dozen and the inevitable glass balls and then crumpled crinkled paper more and more and more like talking all the time by the way uh, of the way in which people neglect to brush their hands inside as well as polite of course but with a certain personal application all sorts of things accumulate sir not you of course in particular nearly every customer astonishing what they carry about with them the crumpled paper rose and by billowed on the counter more and more and more until he was nearly hidden from us until he was altogether hidden and still his voice went on and on we none of us know what the fair a uh, semblance uh, of a human being may conceal sir or we or we all then no better than brush, brushed exteriors exteriors white speck spe- sepulchers his voice stopped exactly like when you hit a neighbor's gramophone with a well aimed brick, brick the same instant silence and the rustle of the paper stopped and everything was still have you done with my hat i had after an interval there was no answer i stared at jip and jip stared at me and there was distortions in the magic mirrors looking very rum and grave and quiet i think we will go now i said will you tell me how much of these comes to i say i said the a rather louder note i want the bill and my hat please it might have been sniffed from behind the paper pile let's look behind the counter jip i said he is making fun of us i led jip round and head wagging tiger and what do you think there behind the counter no one at all only my hat on the floor and common conjurer lop eared white rabbit lost in the meditation and looking at stupid and crumpled as only conjurer rabbit conjurer's rabbit 
can do i re resumed my hat and rabbit laloped a lalop or so out my way dada said jip in a guilty whisper what is it jip said i i do like this shop dada dada so should i i said to myself if the counter wouldn't suddenly extend itself to shut one off from the door but i didn't call jip attention to that pushy he said with a hand out to the rabbit as it came laloping past us pushy do jip a magic and his eyes followed it and as it is squeezed through the door i had in certainly not remarked a moment before then this door opened wider and the man with one ear larger than the other appeared again he was smiling still but his eyeing i met mine with something between amusement and defiance you would like to see our showroom sir he said with an innocent Shivati, Jip ticked my finger forward. I glanced at the counter and met the shopman eye again. I was beginning to think the magic just little too genuine. We have very much. Uh, we have Mary. We have not Mary much, sir. I said, but somehow we were inside the showroom before I could finish that. All of good same quality, said the shopman, rubbing his flexible hands together. And that that is the best. Nothing in the place is that is not genuine magic and warrant warranted thoroughly run. Excuse me, sir. I felt him pull off at something that clung to my. I caught sleeve, and then I saw head of little wriggling red demon by the tail. The little creature bit and fought a try to get at his hand, and the and in a moment he tossed it carelessly behind a counter. No doubt the thing was only an image of twisted, interrupted, in in. indira rubber but for a moment and his gesture was exactly that of a man who handed some pretty biting bit of vermin i glanced at jip but jip was the looking at the magic rocking horse i was glad he did not had not seen the thing i say i said in an undertone and indic- indicating jip and red demon with my eye you have not many things like that about have you none of ours probably he bought brought it with you he said the shopman also in an undertone and with a more dazzling smile than ever astonishing what people will carry about with them unawares and then the jeep do you see anything you fancy here there was many jeep that jeep fancied there he t- turned to his this astonishing st- astonishing tradesman with the mingled confidence and respect is is that a magic sword he said a magic toy sword it neither bends breaks or nor cuts the fingers it renders the bearer invincible in the battle in battle against any one under 18 half a crown to the seven or six pence according to size these panel peels on ca- uh, cards are the juvenile knights rent and very useful sheet for safety sandals of swiftness helmet of invisibility oh daddy guess the degree i tried to find out what they cost but the shopman did not heed me he had got jip now he had got him away from my finger he had embarked upon the exposition of his confounded stock and nothing was going to stop him presently i saw a qualm of distress and something very like jealousy that jip had hold of his person's finger as usually he has had hold of mine no doubt the fellow was interesting i thought he ha- and had an interestingly faked lot of stuff really good faked stuff still i wondered after them saying uh, after them saying very little but keeping an eye of this prestige digital fellow after all jip was enjoying it and no doubt then when when the time came to go we should be able to go quite easily it was a long remem uh, rambling place that showroom a gallery broken up to the stands and stalls and pillars and with ar- uh, with archways leading off to the other departments in which the querist looking assistant loafed and stared and one at one and with perplexing mirrors and curtains so perplexing indeed were these that i was presently unable to make out the door by which he had the shopman showed the jeep magic trains that ran without steam and clock wor- clockwork just as you said the signals and then some very very valuable boxes of soldiers that all came alive directly you took off lid and said i myself have not very quick ear and it was tongue twisting sound but jip he has mother's ear go got into no time bravo said he shopman putting him the putting the men black into the box unceremoniously and handling it to jip now said the shopman and he in a moment jip had made them all alive again you will take that box asked the shopman we will take the that box said i unless you charge it full value in which case i it would need a trust magnet dear heart no and the shopkeeper swept little men's back shut 
the lid waved the box and in the air and there it was brown paper tied up with the jib's full name and address on the paper the shopman laughed in an amazement this is the genuine magic he said the real thing it is a little too uh, genuine for my taste i said again after that he fell showing jib tricks and old uh, odd tricks and still order the way they were do done and ex explained them the, he turned them inside out and there was a dear little chap nodding his busy bit of head in a suggest manner i did not attend as well as i might uh, i might hey presto said the magic shopman and then he come to clear smell hey presto of the boy but i was distracted by the other thing it was being burned it upon me uh, upon me just how tremendously ram this place was it was so to speak in in inundated by the sense of ramis ramness there was something a little rum about the fix fixtures even about the ceiling about the floor and about the casualty distributed chairs i had queer feeling there wherever i was not looking at them straight they were stirred the mood about and the play noiseless my stunned thought was that jip must not see him i turned about and there was jip quite pre preoccupied with the shopman and thinking so no will they were whispering together and looking at me jip was standing on a little stool and shopman was holding a sort of bit drum in his hand hide and seek dada cried jip you are you are he and before i could do anything prevent the shopman had clapped the big drum over him i saw what was up directly take that off i cried this instant you will frighten the boy take it off the shopman with unequal ears did so without a word and heard the big clamor towards me to show its emptiness and the little stool was vacant and this instant my boy had utterly disappeared you know perhaps that sinister something that comes like a hand out of the unseen and grips you heard you heard about uh, you know it takes our your common self away and leaves you tense and deliberate neither slow nor hasty neither angry nor afraid and so it was with me i came with his grimacing shopman and uh, kicked his stool aside stop this folly i said where is my boy you see he said still displaying the drum interior there is no deception i i put out my hand to grip him and he eluded me by dexterous movement i snatched again and he turned from me pushed open a door to escape stop i said and he laughed receding i left after i leaped after him into utter darkness third lord bless my ear i didn't see you coming sir i it was regent street and i collided collided with a decent looking working man and a yard away perhaps a looking little perplexed with himself was jip there was some sort of uh, apology and then jip has turned and come to me with a bright little smile as though for a moment he had missed me and he was carrying four parcels in his arm he secured immediate possession of my finger for a second i was rather at a loss i stared round to see the door for the magic shop and behold it was not there there was no door no shop nothing only common plaster between the shop where they sell pictures and the window with the cheeks i did the only things possibly in that mental uh, tumult i was straight to the stone and held up my umbrella for a cap and soms said the jeep a note culminating ex exclamation i helped him henry called my address with an effort and got in also something unusual proclaimed itself in my tail coat po packed pocket and i felt discovered a glass ball with a petulant expression i flung into the street jip they said nothing for a space neither of of us spoke dada said grip at last that was a proper shop i came round with that of prob um, problem of just how soul things had seemed to me he looked completely undamaged so far good he was neither scared and unhinged he was simply tremendously satisfied with the afternoon's entertainment and there is in his arm were the four parcels confound it he could be in them mm, i said little boy i can't go to shops like that every day he received this and his usual stoic stoic stoicism and for a moment i was sorry i was his father and not his mother and so couldn't suddenly there cram publico in our handsome kiss him after all i thought the thing was not so very bad but it was when we opened the parcel that is really began to reassure three of them contained boxes of boxes of soldiers quite ordinary lead soldiers 
but of so good of quality as to make chip or together forget that originally these parcels had been magic tricks of the only genuine sort and the fourth contained a kitten and a little living white kitten it excellent health and appetite and temper i saw this un packing with a sort of provisional relief i hung about in a nursery for quite an unconscionable time that happened 6 months ago and now i am being to believe it all right the kitten had only the magic natural all kittens and the soldier seemed the steady company as though colonel desire and the jeep the intelligent parcel will understand that how cautiously with the jeep but i went so far one thing one day i said i would I would like you soldiers to come alive, Jip, and march with them. So, mine too. I just have uh, say a word. I know before I open the lid. Then they march about alone. Oh, quite dada. I should not like them if they didn't do that. I displayed to be uh, becoming unbecoming surprise, and since then I had taken occasion occasion to drop in upon him once or twice, unannounced when the soldiers were about. But so far as I never discovered them performing in anything like magical manner. It's so difficult to tell. There is also question of finance. I had incurable incurable habit of paying bills. I have been up and down Regent Street several times looking for that shop. I am inclined to think indeed that the in that matter honor is satisfied and that since Gip's name and address are known to them, I may very well leave to these people, whoever they may be, to send it their bill in own, their own time. So this is the story. I hope you liked it. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay home, stay safe. Please like and subscribe, share. Thanks a lot. God bless you all.